Hi, I'm Dave from Golf Car UK. Today we're going to be going over some of the basic repairs you can do on your golf car. First of all, we're going to concentrate on the correct procedure to remove and replace your wheel. Tools needed, trim removal tool, 19 millimeter deep socket and a brake bar. We're going to start with removing the wheel trim. Now we are going to loosen all four nuts slightly. Using a suitable trolley jack, position under the vehicle. You want to jack up your vehicle on a suitable chassis mounting position. All vehicles will differ slightly. On the RXV, there's a lovely central chassis uh, point to jack up on. We're going to use axle stands on both sides of the vehicle. Be sure to jack your vehicle up high enough so there's enough clearance for them to fit underneath a suitable chassis support point. When the axle stands are in position, we're going to lower the vehicle down onto them to help with stability of the vehicle. We're going to remove all four wheel nuts and remove the wheel. We're now going to refit the wheel. A quick note on wheel nuts. They're fitted with a taper. It's vital this taper is pointing inwards, touching the wheel rim. The wheel rim is also fitted with a taper. The two tapers fit together and help with centralizing the wheel into the correct position and gripping the time. We're going to start the wheel nuts finger tight to begin with. We're going to do our best wiggling the wheel and tightening those nuts up ever so slightly with your hands to centralize the tapers. We're going to have a quick tweak of the bar before we drop the vehicle down off of the jack. We're now going to lift the vehicle slightly to be able to remove the axle stand. Then we're going to lower the vehicle down off the trolley jack. We're now going to tighten the vehicle wheel nuts up to the manufacturer's recommended specification. In this case, on the EasyGo RXV, the recommended torque is between 70 and 115 newton meters. We're going to tighten these wheel nuts up in a specific order. We're going to start at the top, go directly below to the side, directly opposite. This helps spread the load and simply refit the wheel trim. 